This is a video tutorial on running MultiQC, that is, how to create your own reports. MultiQC has been designed to be as easy to run as possible. Typically, it requires very little in the way of configuration or passing options on the command line. The way it works is it's a core tool written in Python with multiple submodules. Each one of these modules is a wrapper around a supported bioinformatics tool. Every time you run MultiQC, all of these modules are run as well. And each module looks for log files that it recognises uh, and it silently exits if it doesn't find any. Because of this, MultiQC is run in the same way for every type of analysis, every type of data. Typically, you run MultiQC by specifying the command and then a directory for you to search or multiple directories. Here I've put full stop, which just means the current working directory, but I could specify a number of different paths here if I want to. When I run MultiQC, it tells me which modules have found logs and how many different logs, and gives me a summary about what it's produced in the report. At the end, you can see it's produced an HTML report and also a data directory. The HTML report should hopefully be familiar and look something like this with all of our different modules down the side here producing output and general stats at the top summarizing a few of the key statistics alongside for each of the samples. MultiQC also saves this data directory here and within this di data directory uh, there are a number of files which contain easily machine readable data. This is for use in downstream applications. These files can be opened easily in Excel and other programs and you can see they contain actually a lot more information than is seen in the report. Basically anything that can be passed will be put into these text files but only stuff which is really interesting for most report users will be put into the actual report to keep it usable. MultiQC has, uh, like most command line tools, a number of different flags that you can use to configure how it works. Some of them are easy, like minus minus version which tells you what version of MultiQC you're running, and minus minus help that gives you information about how to run MultiQC on the command line. One of the ones that you might need a lot is the minus minus force option. If I try and run MultiQC again in the same directory, it will complain and it will tell me that there's already a report there. But if I use the minus minus force flag, then it will tell MultiQC to ignore this and just replace the existing report there. This is really helpful because often uh, you want to run MultiQC before an analysis is finished um, just to see how it's getting on or maybe just you've made some changes and you want to rerun MultiQC. There are some other common options. If I look at this report, maybe I don't want to include one of these samples and so I can tell it to ignore any files that contain a sample name. If I do multiqc minus minus ignore and then a string, multiqc will ignore any file names that contain that string and we should get a report which doesn't have that sample in anymore. I mentioned that multiqc generates this directory of data, past data files. By default, the files it creates are tab separated values, um, but you can also export that data in different file formats, namely JSON and YAML. To do this, you do multiqc minus minus data format, or you can do just minus k if it's quicker. Specify what you want and run multiqc. Then we should see that the files created in the data directory are all uh, JSON files. And if we look at them, the data format should be easy to read by any JSON passing data. Many of the things I've mentioned here can be set in the config files as defaults. So if you always want to run it as JSON, you can just set that in a config file and you won't have to specify it on the command line. There are a few different config files. There's one that can be set in the installation directory if you want site-wise config for all users. You can create a config file in your home directory and you can create a config file in your working directory. And they're read in that order, so any conflicting options will be overwritten. And if anything you specify on the command line overrides all of that. You can find an example config file bundled with multiqc called multiqc-example-config.yaml, which looks something like this. 
and has lots of comments written in it explaining what all the different options do. Everything in here is a default parameter, so you can delete it all and just keep the ones that you want. All of this and a lot more is covered in the documentation on the website, so if you're in doubt, just go to multiqc.info and click Docs.